Uh, storage can be expensive, especially if you build permanent structures like a pole barn or anything like that. So we have found this alternative. It's a... It's a poly house, is that what we yeah, call it? Or? Yeah, poly shed. It's uh, it's basically just a uh, poly type of tarp type of material that goes over. Let me swing around, show you guys. Actually, we'll come inside here, get out of the sun a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but this one is a 30, sorry, 30 by 80 30 shed. 30 by 80, yeah. Yeah, so. This is not our first one. The first uh, one was destroyed by the wind. Yeah, and this, right where we're at here, wind comes through here pretty strong and uh it had literally just destroyed the first one we uh so this one we had actually was covered in through insurance and we purchased another one uh this one like i said is a 30 by 40 or i'm sorry 30 by 80 our last one was 40 by 40 80, by 40, 40 by 80. um it is nicer having the 10 feet a little bit a little bit wider than the 10 feet more uh so that was nice to have but this one does work um this one the little difference on it is you can see up here this one's considered a double truss so it has a lot more support than our old one our old one just basically had the single pipe up top and didn't have the dual on there so that made a huge difference here with our wind that comes through here and our snow well, load. we kind of sit on top of a hill so yeah and the snow load that comes through here so uh that made a huge difference on this one so we've had this one the past couple years um it's held up yeah we do this, leave both well there's a like a garage door yeah there's doors on both so, ends and we leave them open just to let the wind go through yeah there are those little cranks which we'll show you here in a second to, to lower the doors if you wanted to um we, you know we ran electric to it uh you can see the light that's back here behind me somewhere uh and it, it works great uh it's way cheaper than building another pole barn um so. the best part is how much stuff you can shove in here <laughs> like there is there is so much equipment in here right like, yeah. well right now there's a big full-size dump truck looks like yeah. a one ton with a salt spreader on the back yeah let me flip we have it two payloaders here. two skid steers a vent track there's all kinds of crap in here. Yeah, so you can put a lot of stuff in here. In the winter and we time, have room. Yeah, and in the winter time, we pile a bunch of trucks in here, uh, keep them out of the weather. So it, it just it's just a lot a lot nicer to have and then keep them outside. And then you know, and it was like, well, when we put this up, four thousand, probably yeah, more yeah, now. It's, yeah, it's been I think a couple of years. I think they're around like six or seven thousand. I think that's what my dad said. So they yeah. they've gone up with the of course with any material has gone up. But still, up. way less mm -hmm. expensive than putting up some kind of permanent structure. You may want to check with like local zoning. I don't yeah. know as far as um, permitting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and there's different stuff with taxes, whether it's a permanent or temporary building. So that's every area that's, is different. So check into your area whether you have to, you can get by with just a temporary, uh, temporary structure and not have to pay tax on it. But that's that's up to your area. We'll go over here to one of these here. So one tip when you start putting these up, and it may seem obvious now, but Make sure these bolts, because they're carriage bolts, make sure the round side is on the back side here and the bolt is sticking through here. Uh, we've heard some stories where some places around here have done it the opposite direction and then once they put that on there, and obviously the tarp will tear. So make sure that's put up. Um, but just to kind of give you a quick idea, we are able to get this building put up. Like I said, it's a 30 by 80 two guys i'm sorry three guys in two days we were able to put this up so it's, it's a pretty quick install overall um but it works really really awesome so as you can see like katie said we have a lot of a lot of different equipment in here uh so basically you're putting these trusses up one put them all together one by one and then you're stacking them up and then you just tie them the bars the crossbars and then they also have the cables that come down which we have them in the pvc to help protect things from coming down here but um but they, it is a really simple install. And uh, is there any kind of footing, like, or is that just pipe pounded into the ground? Yeah. So down here, there are plates that go down there, and then there's um, like spikes that go down. On the outside, we did wrap the tarp type material down and around, and we put the um, gravel on top of it just to help keep the wind from picking up going underneath there. Um, but it, it is, a, like I said, it's a really quick install, and it's, it's a really cheap alternative to. Uh, a full shed if you guys can have that i'll go through and show you the door here real quick so right down here there is a crank a hand crank so you can bring the door down and up uh, it does just kind of bunches up top there but in our area here with the wind that comes through here we just found it's easier and better just to keep it 
open all the time and let the wind just kind of go through all the way through so yeah no these are great like we said look how much stuff we have shoved in here i mean <laughs> i'm just saying one of your dad's favorite things to do is just pile stuff in places well, well, it is. not pile stuff but you know what i mean in the winter it is nice you can have things uh in here so everything doesn't get covered in snow yep so i'll do a quick walk through so you guys can see how much stuff we have in here you know we got our vent track there our john deere 244 then we got our case there's 621 then we have two skidsters in here a sterling dump truck salt snow plow and salt spreader and we have one of our salters over there so there's a lot of room in this 30 by 80 here um you know always wish it was bigger of course um, but it, it is a it is a great alternative. So if you guys are considering something like this or even actually have one of these, let us know in the comments. Can you can you have this type of uh, a shed in your area? We'd love to hear what you guys are doing and what you guys are actually doing for storage. So let us know and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one.